not shoe on him today because I quite frankly I enjoy her videos. I don't agree 100% with all um with all her takes, but she 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 could she's funny. Anyways, we are going to be watching the Twitch thought epidemic by Shoe on Head. Years ago, I made a video about how if you don't like seeing lewd things online, simply close your eyes and walk away. But what happens when you do close your eyes and walk away, but no matter where you walk away to, you bump right back into it. Whether it's on Twitter, TikTok, or even Twitch. Yep! Everybody clicks off this stream. <laughs> To sunny water. I'm gonna get cancelled for this. All these years, and this is what's gonna get me cancelled. I don't wanna hear it from any water snobs, okay? Where are my fellow- Why water snobs? Is she talking about me? Oh, Dasani heads at. <laughs> but anyway, do you like the red hair? A lot of the Twitch thoughts <laughs> that I'm hair. gonna be talking about have red hair. I felt like I was missing out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are talking about the Twitch thought epidemic and its consequences, as well as OnlyFans culture and the de of s I promise this won't make sense. Maybe. Like, all my videos are just kind of messy the brain NSFW vomit. Update. I mean, I guess that's one way you could be sure I'm not plagiarizing. When I start to sound smart and make sense, that's a red she flag. She is calling I figured out, out how to use oh chat GPT. So for those of you who are unaware, Twitch is a video game streaming website or at least it used to be, where people often stream themselves playing video games and interact. Oh my god, I haven't seen Destiny in forever. <laughs> I think the last time I, I've seen like Destiny, just like brought up or like seen him, I guess, was when he used to do a lot of stuff with Lily Pichu. Cause I used to be like an avid like Lily Pichu watcher. I, I still really love Lily Pichu, but Destiny used to do a lot, a lot of collabs and stuff with her, which is why I'm familiar with him. Anyways. With their viewers. But recently in the past few years, it has been invaded by women, but not only women, naked women. Now you might be asking, you might oh be asking, God. shoot, what is wrong with that? And normally you'd be correct. But Twitch is a website for kids, advertised for users 12 and up, and predominantly used by young boys. And the question on everyone's mind is, are these evil Jezebels preying on today's youth? Or are they simply the product of capitalism? Clever, sneaky women taking True. advantage of people living under a brutal system in order to selfishly I just remember, make money. Like being, because I always have Twitch open. I always have somebody stream open, whether I'm like lurking in there or like chatting in there. But I just remember there was a time. I don't think it's as common anymore. But before like the whole Twitch update, I could not click on the just chatting category to be like, okay, let me find somebody who's like chatting it up, have them in the background. And then most of the time, it was somebody who was like almost naked and i was just like okay i have no idea what they're doing but i'm going to scroll past you and find something else to watch oh yeah that reminds me um before we get into this uh let's quickly get into today's sponsor when you're browsing the internet you i'm gonna be nice your so about two weeks ago this tweet showed up on oh, my twitter oh i remember that what's going on with twitch which showed a streamer wearing no shirt swinging her fun bags around is that slightly off camera every time she got a donation so for strictly research purposes i went to twitch to see if this was real and surely enough it was and it this is what i was talking about chat the times i could i couldn't go into the just chatting category without seeing almost bare tibbies oh boy were those the days it wasn't just one streamer it was many it was multiple it was the entire Wait, why was shy lily aid. there hold up you guys see it that? was many <laughs> why is shy lily in here <laughs> she wasn't showing anything she's look she's wearing clothes it was multiple it was the entire home page and then when you went to click on one of the streams it just took you there no verification needed, no login required, nothing. And the whole internet pretty much agreed this was insane. Not everyone, we will get to that, but most people agreed this was crossing a line. Because of all the outrage, Twitch changed the rules. Not to fix the website. They changed the rules in order to save the Twitch thoughts. Twitch actually doubled down and made it so twerking, pole dancing, and artistic nudity was allowed do you guys remember this time oh my god it was wild i remember this was around the time we debuted which was like literally five months ago oh my god time goes by so fast artistic nudity right so obviously twitch is run by simps we knew this anyway artistic nudity so like can you glue googly eyes onto your d 
Can you do like a little meat spin on camera with googly eyed? Oh and that God. would be considered cool and fine because it's art, right Twitch? Why am I still doing this? So then VTubers, animated YouTubers, took Me? advantage of this new artistic nudity rule and started- Okay, I wasn't- I was not streaming around this time, chat. I better not hear nothing. Streaming their avatars butt-ass naked. It's oh. called hentai, and it's art. I Only for artist. them to get banned while the Twitch thoughts remained. Clearly, 2D girl discrimination. A few days later, Twitch <laughs> finally banned the Twitch thoughts for a day. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. This has been going on for a very <laughs> long time. From hot tub streams to ASMR ear licking. I, I'm guilty of that one. Sorry, guys. Twitch has just becoming a cesspool for this stuff. Especially in the past three years, following a pattern I have been seeing online. A huge increase of OnlyFans models- I was guilty of the ASMR! Everywhere. Oh. And oh. it isn't just my observation. Hi, Killjoy! There are many studies that welcome came out in, that show in. pornography and pornography addiction increased significantly during the pandemic, especially for young people, and hasn't decreased since. And the amount of people making content Hello, on everybody. OnlyFans welcome in, welcome has in. skyrocketed. Being locked in our houses absolutely did something to our brains. Oh, you 100%. used to have to go out of your way to see this stuff, and now it's everywhere. Now, compare this to how I talked about this issue a few years ago, where I would make fun of people for complaining about- This is like walking into a strip club and being like, GET YOUR HORNY ASSES OUT OF HERE! The difference is now, everywhere is the strip club. It's to the point where even meme accounts on Twitter are being paid to discreetly advertise OnlyFans pages. Oh my god. And you can't even block the f accounts oh. that show up as ads on oh. Twitter. Oh! Great website, Elon. 13 plus, by the way. And anyone who points this out is called a prude or a conservative. If you have an issue with naked women making softcore on a website full of children, you're the problem. How does the overall well being of society affect you, bigot? Most of the internet seems to agree that this Twitch thing was wrong, but there were a lot of people mad at me and others for pointing out the obvious. So we're gonna respond to some of those critiques from people who disagree on this subject, and then we're gonna talk a little more deeply about all of this. Because I feel like it's a little okay. deeper than the Twitch thoughts. The Twitch thoughts are just a symptom of a disease. Why doesn't Twitch just make a new 18 plus site? They do this on Twitch because the market is already saturated on actual porn cam sites. They won't stand out. They can find a larger, younger audience on Twitch. What I'm trying to say is, these should be banned. Okay, so my tweet was a little harsh, but... Yeah. Am I wrong? <laughs> Blaming these women for what Twitch allows and calling them <laughs> accomplishes nothing except morally grandstanding that you think you're better than them. So first of all, I am better than them. So are you. So is everyone who doesn't make on Twitch. And second of all, I know calling them <laughs> does nothing. I did it because it was funny. These are grown ass women toying with the TOS. They know what they're doing is wrong. They know they're walking a fine line. That's why they're here on Twitch. Does anybody remember? Sorry, this, this just came to my mind. I don't know the exact user, but I remember when this happened, there was like this girl who just like straight up like took off her panties on stream but, and just like spread her entire cooch on stream on Twitch and it went on for like a few minutes and then like Twitch banned her for a little I just remember seeing that and I was like huh that's funny <laughs> Twitch and not on the hundreds of adult websites that exist if a parrot they're so dangerous to you maybe you should lock yourself in the cave cry more little bro and tell your fellow bros to stop thinking with their dicks um hello fellow bros stop thinking with your dicks Brace yourselves. The incels about to lose their minds and act like women are ruining Twitch. Lol at the men in these comments admitting they are not attractive to women. I'm sorry you don't like hot women. Maybe work on the internalized misogyny. Nah, sorry. If you don't like huge oiled up milkers bouncing around on a Twitch stream, I'm just gonna assume you hate women. Do straight men what? even like women? Oh, you're not sexualizing women? You're not just gooning to every woman you see? What do you, hate women? What are you? Gay? How did they manage to reverse engineer being sexist into not going awooga awooga honk honk every time they <laughs> see a woman? I love Incredible. that. Incredible. Huge fan oh of God. these mammoth milkers, but I do worry about the dynamic and weirdness of women who are essentially sex workers interacting with and asking for donations from chat on a site largely used by young men. Feels like a race to the bottom. When Vosh and I, the people who talk about 
fucking Pokemon are saying things have gotten weird. Why am I in this picture? <laughs> oh my god, guys, I made it into a shoe on head a thumbnail. Weird. I think that's proof that things have gotten weird. As a sex worker, I agreed. I dislike the blurring of adult and all ages platforms like Twitch and TikTok, but I also don't know what men expected when it's so successful either. I don't know, I guess men expected women not to get borderline naked on a website occupied with children, maybe? The bar is really not that high. There is a market for literally everything. That doesn't make literally everything excusable. If you give your kid unrestricted access to the internet, that's a you problem. Parents have to take some level of responsibility over their child's online content consumption. So I agree with this. Yeah, of course me too. I agree with this. Parents should absolutely be monitoring what their kids are looking at online. The issue is Twitch is advertised as a website for them. It is advertised for users yeah. 12 and up. So parents will naturally assume that the website doesn't feature like this. I think that's a pretty reasonable assumption to make. Like, I don't have to sit and watch Nick Jr. constantly. I mean, yeah, not only just on Twitch, just like in general, I feel like you would, as if you are a parent, monitor what your child is watching. Because I don't know if you guys notice nowadays, at least from like, I've noticed in children, a lot of them say some like really out of pocket stuff. Like there was this one, I was um out and I would remember I was like running errands or something. I forgot what I was doing, but I heard this kid was like telling their parents, this was like a legit, like probably like seven, eight year old kid telling his parents, oh my gosh, I watched uh, Has Been Hotel. I love that TV show. I love that cartoon. And I'm like, D does your parents know what Has Been Hotel is? I feel like we are now coming to a, like a, uh, where it's normal normal for parents to just give their kids iPads and just be like, you know what, little Johnny, you're annoying me. Here's an iPad. Watch whatever the f*** you want. And now these kids are consuming content that they aren't should not be consuming at like the ages that they're at. I don't know. It was just a random thought that just came to my mind. I was like, I remember this one moment. With a 10 year old, just in case Peppa Pig decides to go girls gone wild, it's safe to assume that is not going to happen. So yes, you should be monitoring what your kids are doing online, but this isn't like a kid going onto an 18 plus website. This is a kid going on a website that is advertised for them, that is made for them. So this is in big part the website's problem. A lot of people were saying that the solution to this would be making Twitch 18 plus, which I agree makes perfect sense to do. But the thing is, Twitch won't make it 18 plus no. because that's what drives away advertisers. Lots of advertisers won't advertise on websites that are 18 plus. It's too risky, it's bad for their brand. And Amazon, the owner of Twitch, needs more money, of course. Same reason Twitter isn't being made 18 plus. Because at the end of the day, the richest men in the world need more money. And apparently Twitch is going bankrupt. No wonder they Aww. want to keep the Twitch thoughts on the platform. Form. Also, I didn't even know that Twitter was only 13 plus until embarrassingly recently. Elon, I beg of you, either make yeah, Twitter 8. I sometimes forget that too, because sometimes I'll be out in public. I mean, I follow spicy accounts. But sometimes I'd be opening Twitter. No. I mean, Twitter's pretty good about uh, being like, oh, sensitive content. But you know, stuff slips through the cracks. And I'll open up Twitter just out in public. And then here's somebody's ash cheeks getting railed by somebody else. And I'm like, all right, I think that's enough Twitter for today. Or get rid of the porn. I personally think the former is the better idea because I'm tired of seeing unsolicited opinions of minors on the internet. And I just don't get tired of seeing images of strangers butt pop up on my Twitter timeline while I'm scrolling in public. Always oh, enjoy. she, she knew exactly aside, what I was thinking. Twitch is just not a website for this. No. There are thousands of other websites for this. There are so, so many. So why do these women have to do this on a website not for this? Well, it's simple. Because the websites that are made for this stuff are already oversaturated. The market is full and basically these mids are not going to stand out on a dirty webcam site where there's thousands of other people doing exactly what they're doing. But when there's only a few dozen on Twitch doing it, they're more likely to stand out, get more followers, make more money, and attract an audience that wouldn't normally go on those other sites. Unfortunately, in this case, a much younger audience. I remember in like 2008 or so, I did a fan meetup and most of the people that came were in their 20s, in college, in their 30s. But there were like a few 12, 13 year olds, 15 year olds with their parents. And I was just like, oh, oh, oh no. Like it just didn't even occur to me that people that young would be watching my content or interested in my content. But just the fact that people that age knew about me 
was so scary. So I just have to wonder, like, oh, how yeah, are 100%. these people not feeling that way? Like, I didn't purposely go out of my way to attract that audience, but these people are going out of their way to attract that audience. If they weren't, they wouldn't be doing it on this website. They would be doing it on the websites this stuff is for. What makes it possibly even grosser is the fact that Twitch uses in-game money, meaning a kid could use their parents' money to buy Twitch bits or whatever the f and then use those Twitch bits in order to get these women to interact with them and to shake their t and their parents. Oh, yeah. Because you can buy that stuff on mobile, which are probably what most of these, these kids are using to consume this type of content. Ooh, I didn't even think about it like that. Huh. Would never know. Many people suspect this is the reason Twitch made that change, but... I don't know. It does line up with Twitch's MO. They will do anything to keep these women on their platform. They are their cash cow. They bring in the big bucks. After all, there is a market for this. Men. Takes two to tango. Most of these bitches would be broke if it wasn't for your coomer asses. Oh wow, sex workers sex working under capitalism? How crazy. Every man in this comment section has mommy issues and gets no actions. Y'all mad she's making more money with less effort. Finding this tool makes you a pervert. Go b to your dead mom. Smartest Twitter user. Sounds like you're just mad you can't manipulate a following in the same fashion. Granted, I don't condone it, but you're coming off as salty as a group of people found a loophole around the TOS and are abusing it. Frankly, these women should be praised for thinking outside the box and pandering to an audience that isn't oversaturated. You can't exactly criticize them for being smart enough to know which outlet has a higher chance of yielding income. What do you mean? It takes two seconds to take off my shirt. Literally any woman in the world can do this, but most don't because making on a website mostly populated by minors is gross and insane. Gonna be honest, I thought you were a dude. Oh my god. <laughs> shame the women when it's clearly women just taking advantage of the system we live under, capitalism. Most Yet you call yourself a socialist? A lot of issues do come down to capitalism, but as we do so often with other things, you can criticize people exploiting this system and exploiting the loopholes in this system. We don't just hand wave away politicians buying stock. We don't just hand wave away Jeff Bezos making his employment employees pee in bottles just because we live under capitalism and it is what it is no yes ultimately i guess it's a capitalism issue it's a tos issue but you'd never apply this standard to people marketing gambling or crypto scams on twitch Whoa, which is funny because that like, is something to think a about, year right? ago there was a there was like a bunch of gambling drama on twitch and one of the biggest critiques people had was i remember that right when basically... everybody was doing the, the slot machines on twitch was that is that the one i'm remembering or they they did allow gambling for a while but i think it got out of hand if i remember correctly and they just were like no we can't do it anymore basically selling gambling to children so how is this any different it's amazing that just because they're women Suddenly they get a pass. And if you call it out, you are slut shaming or a pick me, of course. Oh look, Queen Pick Me is at it again, putting down other women. Shoe is I'm not like other girls personified. Okay, this insult normally doesn't work, but it especially doesn't work here because I am like other girls. Most women, in fact, do not make porn on Twitch. It's incredible how criticism of even like a single woman is seen as some personal betrayal. And the only reason you would do so is male attention. I never understood why I need to feel some sort of like loyalty to complete strangers just because we were born the same sex. I don't know you b I don't support all of you. Some of you were dumb. Like as if these kids don't have access to porn at the tips of their fingertips. Trust me, if they want porn, they will get it. There aren't any toddlers on Twitch as far as I'm aware. It's 13 plus. Do Americans think children will be traumatized by seeing naked women? Do they not realize those same kids can and do simply go to porn sites to jerk off? Uh, Shu, I hate uh... to tell you this, but the average kid is seeing way worse stuff online all the time. Uh, yeah, that's... that's not a good thing. Let's no. be real, this ain't nothing to kids nowadays. I grew up with the internet as a kid slash teen and was able to find stuff back in 2002. Where now it's literally so easy to find stuff and most teens have phones. I don't think they would be phased by this content. Again, that is a bad thing. Yeah, that's part of the problem, how easily accessible shit is. Yeah, I mean, I feel like also, I mean, stuff like that's always going to be on the internet. It's not a problem that it's on the internet and necessarily. It's just more so like, like you said, it's good. It's becoming a lot easier and easier to find this stuff. And there's not very much, I guess, monitoring, if that makes sense. Maybe it shouldn't be that way. I hate this whole, well, 
that's just the way things are attitude. That's how you get people coming up with these head ass ideas, like making four k. What the f is this? Ha! Ha! Kids, because kids will find porn anyway. No! There were so many replies to me that were like, um, I was watching hardcore porn since I was ten, and I that think is that was fine. No, that is your concerning. Twitter likes are public, sir. No, you didn't. You don't see a problem with this because you are extremely desensitized. And honestly, so am I. I'm no swerf. I'm no swerker, exclusionary, radical feminist. That is the stupidest First of all, take I've ever seen. I'm not seen, a feminist. It's like our culture has become so overly sexual that it's not even sexual anymore. Our culture is just becoming desensitized to s And that's not a good thing. I guess I just miss the days of tasteful thigh. Because of this oversaturation, many in Gen Z are apparently craving normal relationships on the big screen. They're bored of seeing sex everywhere. To them, a sex has been available one Google click away since they were like four years old. And it's having really negative outcomes. Like the amount of grown ass millennials calling Gen Zers prudes and puritines is another word I saw. It's just really fucking weird. Like, I'm sorry we're all addicted gooners maybe the younger <laughs> generation is trying to tell us something someone called me a prude over this me just like with video games when i was a kid boys are mad because girls are playing in a space they've deemed theirs and are kicking their asses at it so first of all girls have already been in these spaces playing video games for years there was no issue so it's kind of weird to be like sorry we're kicking your asses boys like kicking their asses at what being naked on camera? Being naked on camera in front of minors? I just think it's interesting oh and ironic how like 10 years ago- This is such a disaster. Ago, oh my god, this is, this is a disaster, bro. With these same people were fighting to keep sexualized women out of video games. Oh, and now they are fighting to keep sexualized women on Twitch, a website for video games. It has come full circle. <sighs> if only Anita was here to see it. Also, imagine flipping the genders in your stupid fake fan fiction. Imagine a grown ass man coming into like a female space. I don't know what's a female space. The Stanley Cup fandom. Those f***ing cups. Imagine a man coming into the fandom okay, of the don't insult my Stanley Cups! I may own like six or seven of them, okay? I'm sorry, I know, I know there's a chance there may be lead in it and it may kill me, but I think they're cute cups dangling his ding dong around and people are like can you stop that's really weird and he's just What's like so special about them i just like that they keep my drinks cold and they have a handle and they have a straw oh wow you just hate men <laughs> like f you go away these women aren't stealing anything from the men if anything they're stealing from the women because the more twitch becomes a website for this the more this shit rises to the top and the more normal streamers especially women who don't do this sink to the bottom if i was a female wait i am a female if i was a female gamer if i was a female gamer grinding my ass off in this male dominated space the same way a lot of men do and seeing what female content rises to the top of this website i would be pretty demoralized look anywhere not just twitch sex work starts to appear like the only successful avenue a woman can go down in 2014 there was a yeah. lot of talk about harassment towards women I mean, online. I don't really have that and much to say since I feel like I am a borderline, like, lewd-tuber. Like, there's a time and place for everything. If you want to do that kind of content, there's websites that are dedicated to it. Do they traffic as much as Twitch? Probably not, but there are places that are dedicated to it, and I feel like it's your responsibility to be mindful about that type of stuff as a content creator. You know what I mean? Because there's a reason why I put 18 plus in my in my title, and there's a reason why they're in the rules, and there's even like a little warning when you click on my stream, like, hey, there are like certain sexual themes with this stream, and I trust that a majority of my viewers are adults because I I don't feel comfortable knowing if like minors are watching me. I, I don't feel comfortable, even though I don't do anything outright sexual on my stream. My humor is very adult that is not like friendly for children. So would always be like just trolls, just block them, just ignore them. They're trying to get a rise out of you. Which is still true, but a lot of these people aren't trolls anymore. They're your followers, your friends, your allies. You see, 
sexual harassment has evolved. 15 years ago, it was anonymous trolls entering your chat like, show me your tits. Now it's Jeff he him, politely asking if you're interested in joining OnlyFans. You know. I mean, there are people that still come into my chat saying, can I see your boobies? So like, that, that's, that's still a thing. Oh, show me your tits. For money. What With great titties, me? there is I'm great responsibility. <laughs> ton of money. Besides, you know, <laughs> a father figure. Pretty much nothing. Any woman can do this, which is why so many women do this. The pressure is insane for young women nowadays, and I honestly feel bad for them. I do, I feel bad for women. What is this? What is this strange feeling? But from their point of view, from what they've been told, society is going to sexualize them anyway. <laughs> You're a woman online and you don't sexualize yourself? That's okay. We got AI for that. Oh. Also, while I'm editing this, I just noticed that was an ad. That's an ad on Twitter. It says ad in the oh. corner dystopian why not simply take the power back and make People money get ads off like that the that's crazy i've never it's i've never weird i've never Men and thought women of ads are like being that pushed ever. and pulled in so many different directions women are being sold this idea that they should be independent girl bosses who don't need no man Dear and if they God. want to make the choice to be sex workers that's their choice and i consider myself socially libertarian so i'm all for personal choice but how much of this really is personal choice The editing. I stellar. work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. When are things going to go back to where you can work and support your family without f***ing stressing out? I can't do this anymore. I feel this I just so got a hard, good job. Though. I start in September, but even with that job, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like... I'm, I'm just i'm this reminds me of something i feel like that's been also happening on tiktok spoiler alert poseidon uses tiktok a lot by uses tiktok i don't post a lot but i scroll a lot and i've been seeing a lot of uh people kind of resulting to doing tiktok streams where people will donate i think their like version of bits are roses and like stuff like little props little items they can send to a streamer because you can stream on tiktok i think they call them tiktok lives well yeah, like the tiktok livers I i've seen a lot they start doing lives because they're like well i have a job but it's still not paying enough for me to base live and it's, it's honestly kind of sad i'm just feeling so much despair and I know I'm normally like really, really positive, but I'm just like, how is everyone else and are you okay? If somebody wants to do OnlyFans and do that type of content, by all means, all, all respect to you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've done a lot of NSFW voice work in the past. That helped me pay the bills. And I have friends that have done a lot of, that still do NSFW voice acting and do OnlyFans and Fansly because quite frankly, that pays the bills. I have no problem with that at all. But like it was pointed in earlier the video, and I've said already, there are places for that. Don't be posting your tibbies online in a space where 13 year olds <laughs> frequent, you know? It's just probably no. We're gonna just start an OnlyFans. In 48 hours, how much money did you make? <laughs> 48 hours. Oh my um, God. I made a little over a million dollars. <laughs> That's insane. Isn't that good? Oh, yeah, there we go, Bella Thorne. I remember her. 47 million to show tits and ass. Why wasn't I born a girl? Their lives are on rookie. I wish I was a girl to make easy money like that. Women have it so easy, it's not even funny. There is a lie perpetuated by people on the internet that OnlyFans is this get rich quick scheme, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The average woman on OnlyFans only makes $180 a month, and that's average. Most are making way less than that. But this get rich quick lie is not being sold by only random people on the internet, it's also being sold by OnlyFans itself. Kiss that 99 cent ramen goodbye and say hello to endless opportunities on OnlyFans. This is just the That's 2023 insane. version of, hey lady, I see you're having financial problems. Say, can you dance? I have a couple of friends who are pretty famous OnlyFans models, and they've disclosed to me that allegedly people who work for OnlyFans have approached them, telling them to post about how much money they made or show oh off expensive God. things they bought with money they it's made. It's like advertising by being a dream. I mean, same kind.
kind of goes for streaming, right? I mean, you see all these big streamers, and you're like, oh my god, I could do that. I could make a lot of money off of streaming, but that's just not the reality of it, right? It, it takes a lot more than just, like, I guess, posting tibbies. You have to... You have to work for it. Fans model in order to recruit more women to be OnlyFans models. This includes showing off handbags, expensive clothes, makeup, cars, and even houses. Like, oh. I just bought my first house thanks to OnlyFans. It's disgusting to do this in general, but especially disgusting to do this during a housing crisis. It's just oh. evil. It's incredibly, incredibly yeah. rare you can make a living yep. doing this. <laughs> just like YouTube. And I could not imagine if YouTube sold itself like, tired of being poor? Become a YouTuber. Like, <laughs> what? Now, why would they do this? Why would OnlyFans manipulate and entice poor, desperate people like this? Oh, that's why. Oh. Of course it is. That's always why. In a way, we are all selling our- How much our million? That's why. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's always why. In a way, we are all selling our bodies to labor. We are all <laughs> Whether you work at a fast food place, <laughs> You're a lawyer or a YouTuber. You're a wh We're all just for capital. At the end of the day, it's a job. These Twitch girls, these OnlyFan girls, they're getting their bag. Like me, like you, like everyone else. And I guarantee you, a lot of the men who about OnlyFans models would do it instantly if they could. You would all be and why wouldn't you go to college and go 100k in debt for a useless degree that won't get you a job? Or this, why wouldn't you break your back and spirit working a 9 to 5 that you absolutely hate and get no satisfaction from? Or this, why wouldn't you? Oh God, and I'm that, in the jar. for the modern woman, is probably the most black-pilling question right now. Why wouldn't you get exploited? or exploit yourself. So is it really the Twitch thought's fault? Taking advantage of a market to make it in an overwhelmingly male-dominated field? Is it really her fault for trying to survive in this unforgiving world, in a society that will abuse, for that. and degrade her anyway? Is it really her fault? Yes! Yes it is! Get off Twitch! It isn't for the end! So that was that video. I have been wanting to talk about this subject for years now. What do you guys think about this? Do you also feel that desensitization feeling I'm talking about? God, I, know, I, get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. you first found this kind of stuff, has it affected your life or relationships at all? But who cares about relationships? Who cares about real women when we can have an AI girlfriend, am I right? Anyway, I will see you guys soon oh with a new video, possibly about that. New video for Valentine's Day. Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess my final thoughts is like, I have nothing against sex work like at all. I mean, I do NSFW voice acting. I've done it a lot in the past. I've done, I've been in, in, in maybe like an adjacent field. It's like, it, it's, 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 it's kind of there. But I, ha I have a lot of friends that do fansly, that do that type of content. And I get it. You know, it's whatever pays the bills. And if you genuinely enjoy it, good for you. But like I said, there are there are places and times for that kind of stuff, you know? So it, it just is like kind of a little stinky to see that people are trying to take advantage of, let's say, like these type of websites where it, it allows younger audiences to try to, I guess, get them to, to do stuff. I don't know. I, I wouldn't feel good about that at all. But I mean, that's just me, right? I am just one she goddess trying to make it. What do I know?